So hey guys, today we're going to be looking at this Toptis. It is a refrigerant leak detector, model number RT389. At the end of the video, we're going to give you a link to purchase this. And we hope you'll like, subscribe, and ring the bell. So basically, we're just going to open this up, show you what it, it comes in kind of a case, trunk-like case. I'm just going to open up. Real easy to get to. Has a really nice clamshell case in it with the nice little handle on it, lanyard handle. So the unit itself is going to be real simple to use. We're going to show you how to use it. It's got a manual that's really thick. But that's because each each language has 18 pages, and I believe there are six different languages. So depending on what language you speak, you're going to have 18 pages to go through. It is charged by a USB to C charger. Basically the same thing you use on most phones anymore. It's got a real, it comes in the phone. So when we go to look at this unit, this is where you're actually going to do the test at. People uh, can check your air conditioner, see if you have a refrigerant leak. You can check your... Uh, freezer you can check a refrigerator anything that could have a refrigerant leak make sure when you're going to use this do not breathe directly on this the carbon dioxide from a person's breath will mess up the accuracy of your readings so we're just going to hold this function button the power button I mean and it's going to come on it's going to go through a bunch of diagnostic tests it's going to go through this has a peel away here also I'm going to leave mine on but you can take it off if you want you see it's going through each one of these, checking the light, checking the LED, checking the buzzer, vibrator, and then your storage. And then it should go to, okay, this is the reading screen. You want it in the green. If you get yellow, that means there's something amiss. If you get red, that means you got a refrigerant leak and you need to have it looked at immediately. So refrigerant leak, the only thing I would have to do is move this tip close to that refrigerant leak it would pick it up and right away this would start moving. So you're going to see, we're going to show you how to use it. Uh, the thing is, I don't, I know we don't have any refrigerant leaks, so it's going to be difficult to show you. I'm going to try to give you a basic idea of where to look on each one, air conditioners, central air units, freezers, and refrigerators. And then I will show you in the book exactly what you're looking for as far as in the coils. So when you're looking at the unit here, if you need to use the flashlight because it's dark, you're just going to hit this button. The flashlight will come on. You hit it again, it shuts it off. So you go to your function button to check these different things. So system storage, you're just going to hit function button. And it goes through all these different things. Time, date, display, alarm, language, factory reset. You want to go back to the main screen. You're just going to hit the power button. Then you can go over. Advanced mode is going to ask you for a password. So if I go into it, you're going to have to set it up for a password. We're not really going to get into that right now because you're going to be changing stuff. You don't need to be changing settings. Then your last one will be your info for this unit. You're just going to hit the function button. It gives you a lot of different information in here, uh, software version, different things like that. It gives you three or four different pages of information about this unit. So you see, you can go in here and look at all these different things. 25 degrees Celsius. Uh, just different things you want to look at on here. And then when you need to go back to the main screen, you'll just hit the power button again. It will take you to the three page. Hit it again. That's back to the main page. This page, once it's on this page, this is working. So if you get a leak, you're going to know right away. You won't have to do anything to it. It will pick up the leak. And that's your main functions as you're going through this. Basically, what you're going to be checking on your different things is your refrigerant. See if you have any leaks on your coils. I have coils on this freezer on every one of these. There, there, all through these. So basically, you're just going to go through here, and you're going to be checking to see if you have any leaks. Now, in a freezer, like a refrigerator-freezer combo, your unit is in the back of the refrigerator. So you also have coils in the back or in the back of the freezer inside here, 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 all, all these different layers. This would go to yellow saying something is wrong, or if it's a bad leak, it would be red saying that you have a refrigerant leak, which can be dangerous. So you need to get looked at by a professional, shut the unit off immediately if you have that, and get a professional look at it. So, 
basically right here is where the refrigerant gets added here and here so you can check there as well we don't have any leaks which usually if you have a leak you're going to have you're going to see uh icing or something like that or you'll uh there'll be unusual things to let, let you know you don't just automatically get a leak now the inside of an air an, a central air unit such as this on this back wall you can't really see it very well there is actually coils that wrap back and forth and they will go all the way around this unit and then back into this condenser and then they'll hook up back in here that's where the freon or not freon the refrigerant goes in up to that and you will see down in here is where you would actually check your coils so you do that and then we'll go in here and show you on a regular freezer as well so we're just checking right here and there's nothing there's no leaks there once again you would have to take this lid off you would have to take off the fan unit make sure it's powered down check the fan unit behind it in the coils if you want to check those so out here this is a small window air conditioner right here can't or sweat that's actually the coil so you would check up in here or you could take this case casing off but it's running right now there is no a leak here this is a small window unit side of here is your coils that's where you're going to have your leaks so you're going to put this up near it it's one green bar so we're good there right here if you're looking at a, this is a U-shaped air conditioner. Those are your coils. They're here, they're here. And you will see it on the left-hand side. So basically, I will take my machine. You're not getting a reading. In order to do this 100%, you need to take the casing off, but this unit is running. I know there's no leaks. I'm just wanting to show you where the different coils at. This is a U-shaped air conditioner. They're on this side. On a small window unit, they're also very similar in spacing. In the freezer, if it's an upright freezer like we showed you out there, they're, they're all over the unit. So you will wanna check all those. So you, this is a refrigerator, ref freezer unit, the top bottom. My ref coils are back here behind this unit. So I'm just basically gonna put this in here I did see it flash for a second and it went back down to one. It flashed for a second, it jumped up, then it went back down. Probably the initial reading, but it's good. So you're basically gonna check everything that has coils. Freezer, refrigerators, freezers, uh, air conditioners, anything that might have refrigerant in it. And you're just gonna keep checking periodically to make sure you do not have any leaks. You want to turn it off you just hold this button starts powering off and it's done Our final wrap up i did mention a while ago this had a one year warranty i was actually incorrect it has a 36 month warranty uh the machine itself is easy enough to use if you I'll try to give you a, a better indication on here because the units we were showing you were not completely open so i just did next to the coils as they were running the way you're supposed to actually do it is have them off. Here is your coils, if you look at the photo. Your coils are gonna look like this, which I was going right up next to the coils with the unit. You're scanning at each coil where they connect, they intersect. I did that on both the air conditioners. Uh, I couldn't reach the ones on my central air unit without taking the cover off. And on my freezer, they were exposed. I was actually checking them right there, but you couldn't really see very well. And also on my refrigerator, they're behind a cover. But basically, you're just doing what I just showed you. You're just taking this tip right here. And you're putting them right next to that coil, just like I was doing. When this is turned on, it will automatically start moving if you have a leak. You don't have to do anything to it. It will start reading the leak right away. It doesn't have to push any special buttons to get it to work. It starts working as soon as you put it up there. It starts reading. So it's immediate read unit. You check your coils along there like that. So as far as ease of the unit, I, I like the fact it's easy to handle, it's easy to operate. There's not a lot to it. When you turn it on, 
you basically hit your function button to go into the functions. You hit your power button to take it back to the home screen. Once you're on the home screen and it shows you the little indicator bars, it's working right then. So if I got near a leak, it would have automatically started moving. You don't have to push anything separate. It, I like the fact that this unit is lightweight. It's easy to use. It runs all the time. If you have any leaks, you definitely would find out very quickly. It's user friendly. Basically, I showed you from opening it up, having it five minutes to how to use it. it. It helps you find any leaks you may have so that you can shut the unit down and get it fixed right away because you don't want that stuff leaking into your house. We will leave the link to buy one of these in the comments. Like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.